if we handed you the keys to the latest 2024 Infiniti QX60 autograph and invited you to take a peek inside, you'd be greeted with a luxurious three-row SUV filled with premium materials. The seats, dashboard, center console, and door panels are all adorned with elegant saddle brown semi-aniline leather upholstery, complemented by tasteful contrast stitching, quilting, and piping. Adding to the opulence is the presence of open pour wood trim. The tech savvy will appreciate the dual 12.3-inch displays for infotainment and the digital gauge cluster, along with the 10.8-inch head-up display. Wireless Apple CarPlay and a Bose Performance Series 17 speaker sound system enhance the driving experience. While the haptic touch controls on a piano black panel may take some getting used to, a thoughtful mix of physical controls helps alleviate any initial discomfort. As you start the engine and activate the massaging seats, you'll notice the smooth operation of the 9-speed automatic transmission as you accelerate, highlighting the QX60's refined driving dynamics. However, despite these impressive features, there remains one significant drawback, the engine. In our previous test of the QX60 two years ago, Infiniti had upgraded to a conventional torque converter 9-speed automatic transmission, replacing the unpopular continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT. While this improved the overall driving experience, it did little to address the underlying issue with the aging VQ family-based engine, a naturally aspirated 3.5-liter V. Six producing 295 horsepower and 270 lbft of torque, which has remained unchanged since 2017. The high-strung nature of the engine means that peak horsepower and torque are delivered at high RPMs, resulting in the need for extended throttle input for adequate acceleration. This can make the QX60 feel sluggish during typical driving scenarios, as drivers may be hesitant to keep the throttle wide open for extended periods. Despite the improvements in transmission, the engine's performance remains a noticeable drawback for potential buyers seeking livelier driving dynamics. Fast forwarding two years, there's been no change beneath the surface of the Infiniti QX60. The glaring issue remains unaddressed. While other luxury three-row SUVs have embraced technologies like turbocharging, hybrid powertrains, and electrification to enhance performance, refinement, and fuel efficiency, the 2024 QX60 continues to rely on the same V6 engine it's always had, a power plan essentially identical to that found in its non-luxury sibling, the Nissan Pathfinder. Infiniti isn't alone in this approach. Acura's MDX also sticks to a non-turbocharged V6 although it offers a turbocharged option in the higher-performance MDX Type S. In the fiercely competitive three-row luxury SUV segment, even the smallest advantage matters. While one might assume that performance metrics are insignificant in this class, the reality suggests otherwise. Despite not leading the class in acceleration, the QX60's measured performance somewhat masks the high-revving nature of its V6 engine. In our 0 to 60 miles per hour test, the 4,669 pound QX60 managed to break the 7 second barrier, which it failed to do in our previous test. Recording a time of 6.9 seconds and completing the quarter mile in 15.2 seconds at 92.9 miles per hour. While this falls short of competitors like the Lincoln Aviator, it puts the QX60 on par with the slightly heavier four cylinder 2023 Volvo XC90B6AWD. However, when compared to the 2022 Acura MDX with a similar 3.5-liter V6, 290 horsepower, and 267 lbft of torque, the QX60's weight disadvantage becomes apparent. The Acura, which is 182 pounds lighter, outpaces the Infiniti by 1.2 seconds in the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint and by 0.8 seconds in the quarter mile. The issue arises outside of the track environment, where constant hard acceleration isn't the norm. In everyday driving, the QX60's acceleration feels lackluster due to its minimal low RPM torque. While the sport drive mode injects some liveliness into the powertrain, it does so in an artificial and half-hearted manner, failing to generate additional torque. Consequently, drivers still need to push the engine hard to access its power. In the realm of three-row midsize SUVs, the 2024 Infiniti QX60 demonstrated a surprisingly commendable performance. Clocking a figure-eight lap time of 27.2 seconds at an average g-force of 0.63. For comparison, the Lincoln Aviator completed the same lap in 27.1 seconds at an average g-force of 0.69. This challenging course assesses acceleration, braking, handling, and the transitions between them. 
With stability control disengaged and sport mode engaged, the QX60 pleasantly surprised us by tolerating spirited driving maneuvers, albeit without actively encouraging them. It maintained secure handling, and its braking performance from 60 miles per hour was respectable, requiring 117 feet to come to a halt, compared to the Aviator's 124 feet. However, the pedal feel is not entirely linear, with initial firm resistance softening as the pedal is further depressed, and noticeable forward body dive occurs under heavy braking. As a solid contender in the three-row SUV segment, the QX60 offers a compelling package for those content with a more relaxed driving demeanor. Our test model, the fully loaded autograph variant, epitomized luxury with its stylish black obsidian roof, commanding a price tag of nearly $70,000. Throughout our evaluation, it met our expectations and imparted a sense of refinement, even during mundane tasks like school drop-offs. Practical features enhance the QX60's appeal, such as a discreet pass-through storage ledge beneath the center console, ideal for securely stowing small valuables out of sight. The inclusion of a dedicated camera button on the center console provided convenient access to the 360-degree camera system, although its resolution left something to be desired. Notably, Infinity's decision to incorporate an undercarriage-mounted spare tire, a rarity in modern vehicles, freed up space for flush underfloor storage in the rear cargo area, further augmenting the vehicle's utility. Infinity demonstrates its commitment to rear seat passenger comfort with ceiling-mounted second and third row air vents, ample cup holders and USB ports, adjustable reclining seats, and convenient pull-down rear door shades. Recognizing the importance of cargo space, the QX60 offers versatile storage solutions. The second and third rows fold flat to create a spacious cargo area. Manual folding of the third row is facilitated by seat top levers, which also serve as recliner controls. Restoring the seat to its upright position is effortless, thanks to the powered function accessible via a button in the cargo area. The second row captain's chairs feature a removable center console and innovative power button tilt and slide functionality, facilitating easy access to the third row. This intuitive feature, initially introduced in the previous QX60 model, streamlines the process with separate buttons for passengers entering and exiting the third row. By sliding and tilting the captain's chairs forward in one step, ample space is created for accessing the rear seats without compromising the functionality of children's car seats. This thoughtful design is particularly appreciated by families with multiple car seats. In summary, Infinity promotes the QX60 as an ideal choice for families seeking a heightened level of luxury. While the SUV boasts impressive aesthetics and a range of practical features tailored to typical three-row SUV shoppers, its appeal could be further enhanced with a revised powertrain. Priced at $69,570 for the 2024 Infinity QX60 AWD Autograph model as tested, it approaches the realm of no-compromise luxury albeit with stiff competition in the segment. For those prioritizing practicality and luxury without brand allegiance, exploring alternatives like the Kia Telluride may be worthwhile. However, for enthusiasts of the Infiniti brand, more budget-friendly QX60 models starting at $51,000 offer a compelling option, albeat with some concessions regarding the V6 engine's performance.